Hello gamers of the game report, welcome back to another episode of Ultra Modded Survival. So first thing is, uh, we know where we left off last episode where I've expanded the base and uh, improved the rooms. The next thing I wanted to do was go to my Yellowium Dimension because I actually hadn't loaded it in a while. So the Bedrockium Drum that I was emptying out to make uh, Yellowium Blocks is empty. So I needed to go back to the dimension, load it, and then go back to the overworld. So now I should be getting Yellorium back uh, to fill that drum. Uh, and that, that'll that stay working until I log out today. Uh, so that's really great. I actually have two ways to go down. So I have that option or that. Okay. Um, so now when I check, I should be getting, again, Yellorium blocks. So you can see how quickly the Yellorium is going up. When I first got on, it wasn't going up at all. So that's how much uh, Yellorium is being pumped out. Okay, so that's really good. It's basically every, like, source block of Yellorium is making a block. Basically, it's like 1,200 and 1,000 as a source block. So close enough. It's about, for every five source blocks, is four blocks of Yellorium, basically. You can also see that my like pulverized iron and stuff is being processed, so that's really great. Like if you look, my iron is going up. So we have a lot of stuff happening. So the first thing was that. The second thing is I wanted to continue the power suit, the power armor. So some the upgrades I want to do first for the power armor are the energy upgrades, like the getting energy for moving. So two servos and a control circuit. This shouldn't be that hard. Uh so the servo should be real easy so a pneumatic servo and i need two solenoids and there we go oh did i need two servo motors i needed two right oops okay oop nah, that won't work yeah, i can't i can't do cheat mode it won't even work because i'm not in cheat mode all right two servos okay so this should add the kinetic upgrade so for moving i'm going to be producing energy um, so I have that one, I have, the next one's the thermal generator, because I already have the solar. So let's create, oh yeah, I was working on geothermal fucking bullshit, and then I got annoyed and said I'd do it next episode. Okay, right, right, and I needed the metal former, oh my god, I forgot all about what I was getting annoyed with, okay. So out of this, I've literally made one thing. Oh yeah, so... At the end of the last episode, um, I had I was doing the rubber tree, and basically I f I, I chopped down the rubber tree. My pack uh, lagged like shit. I ended the recording, uh, but the part you guys didn't see was um, basically didn't chop the tree down. I had to mine it again. I got the the rubber, put it in my ME system, and here we are. Why is that not working? Why would a recipe with reds? I had twenty thousand. I was just breaking down redstone. Okay, boom, boom. Okay, thanks. Let's make a few, because that's annoying as shit. Since the recipe's like broken. Okay, metal, former. And then the next is a machine casing, really simple. And coils. So clearly I didn't make enough copper cable, so let's make some more. Uh, and then I should just be able to make this. Which, why, why are these recipes like forked? One, two, three. Okay, metal former. All right, and now I just need uh, the last thing I always do when I'm doing a uh, this mod is I make the rednet energy cables. I find it to be the easiest method for ch converting my power into. Um, into EU because currently I have RFs but I need EUs so I use a red energy cable and it converts it uh, the next thing so now I this was to make the geothermal because the geothermal takes an empty cell so I need to get tin plates I need to make tin plates so I need a hammer one of these uh, I'll use this one and that should be good. So now we'll create. I think extruding is fine, right? Let me geothermal. 
Okay, yeah, empty cells. Okay, good. And then I just need a generator, which is a RE battery, which I should just be able to make really easily. Okay, so I can make it already. Geothermal. All right. So I guess I should just make this one because it should be easier. So let's make a basic machine casing, a battery. So I need insulated tin, which means I need more tin plates. Okay, and then I just need to make the wire, which I get three per on this one, and then I need to make the battery, well the cable, the tin cable, and then the battery. Holy moly, oh my god, do I not have that stuff? What was this? Tin item casing? Okay, all right. Iron. What is this? Iron? Oh, I made iron item casings. Okay. If I do the extensive, um, there we go. Uh, if I do the extensive IC2, it'll be pretty ridiculous to do it all. Okay, so geo, thermal. I'm surprised that molecular, modular uh, power suits takes stuff from IC2. That's pretty weird, in my opinion. Okay, so geothermal. Am I good now? Am I finally good? How do I not have a furnace? Like, what the fuck are these recipes? They're so borked. Oh, uh, what did I get? Suitable power. Okay, if geothermal doesn't auto... God, dude, I know I have glass. Like, what the fuck is going on with this shit? It's actually really annoying. And what's the other thing? Okay, good. Fuck me, man. Okay, we're good. So now these things will produce power for movement. The other things are being able to fly, the cooling system, mechanical assistance. And all this shit. So I have an auto feeder, don't care. Airtight seal, don't care. Water electrolyzer, don't care. Night vision, does, don't really care. Um, so the next cool things would be these ones, these, and I guess being able to fly with it. Since it is faster than normal. Should I do the... I think I'll do these next. So servo motor... I need 10 servo motors. Easy peasy. So I need 20 of those, which means I need more wire. I just made extra because I, I know I'm going to end up using it. So now I just need 10 of these. And that'll make like most of the stuff I had to make. Which is great. That was for this. So there's one. There's two. So compensation and power. And compensation walking assist. And power. Okay. So next thing is the nitrogen. Nitrogen cooling. And shock absorbers. Eh, we'll, we'll just do this one first. So I need an ion thruster and solenoids. The solenoids I already made extra. Here's two right here. Um, and then an ion thruster. Which, me, which means I need to make two more force field emitters. Which means I need two more tesseracts. Good thing I made extra enderium in the last episode. There we go, now I have plenty. Now I can make tesseracts easily. So I make two tesseracts, get some ender pearls. Half a stack. Melt them down. Fluid transposer, and there we go.
My own thruster. Make the force field emitters. And boom, ion thruster. So I I pretty much have the necessary upgrades for the stuff I really like need for it to work. So the test is how good this armor is. So yeah, I'm really fast. Um, you can see like the power is quite quite high. Uh, the heat is fine. The heat levels are fine. Um, let me just see if there's anything I missed here. So don't really need. Oh, I didn't do the liquid nitrogen cooling system yet. I think I should make it. So two computer chips, liquid nitrogen. What does it take to make ni nitrogen again? One sec. I can't remember if it's two or four to make it. Four. So I think if I, yeah, complete that, I should be able to make this. So it's a uh, nitrogen. Cool, because I already had the blizz powder and all that shit. And what's the last thing? I need insulated rubber hose and computer chips. Insulated rubber hose. What the fuck is this? Rich slag. I haven't made any, I don't think, and liquefied coal. I guess I should look at how much you get per. So one coal makes 100. And so I need 20. And then I need two buckets. And then I'm going to have to find a way to make rich slag. Oh, I have to use pulverized. Cool. Okay. And let's get... So how do I make rich slag? Rich slag is basically a bunch of stuff with sand. All right, what's the best way to get it? What's the highest percent? 45, 10, 10, 5, 5, 20, 75 gold with a cinnabar. Pyrothium and a gold. No, thank you. Cinnabar. Sand and redstone. Aha! Perfect. So I guess I'll use the induction. So does this speed upgrades? Okay, cool. And it doesn't affect the second thing. So rich. I'm already higher than I'm at eight. So that's great. Um. All right, I think we're good to go. Let's make it. So I needed insulated rubber hose. One, two, and I need a computer. Uh, was it one computer chip? I'm just gonna going to assume that it was one. Oh yeah, it's this annoying as fuck recipe. Okay, I'm gonna make two then. Just because I don't want to make like have to go back and make this again. I don't want to look at the thing, I just want to make it now. Easy. One, two. Okay. I bet it was one, but better safe than sorry. It was two! Oh my god, I would have been upset. Alright. So my system is super cool. Super cool now. Um, I guess I should go out and find out how good this armor is. Hey, bro. Hit me. Nothing. 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 Come on, bro. Can you even do any damage?
Well, he is destroying my helmet's uh, energy. But the broken concept is this. I run around, I fly around, I lag. Okay. Um, and when I'm flying around, it's recharging and it's fully recharged. It's just clearly in a big boss fight, the... The armor is going to get fucking destroyed, but for like regular at traversing and stuff, I think I I can use this armor. Don't know 100%, but kind of interested to try it. Easy. So yeah, it seems. Why am I blind? Can I? Eight more seconds of blindness. I don't know, it seems decent. I'm just not sure how to gauge it. see how the water dragon does right I one shot everything right totally forgot this is also the cooler part is when running around and jumping I did take damage from something what did I take damage from that's uh, worrying so that's with the armor, the energy shields, which normally in a normal pack, that, that wouldn't do any damage to you. Um, like I could add the diamond plating, but the weight that it adds makes it so you can barely do anything. Like, it, it's really crappy for... It, it's good for not taking damage, but you'll be a lot slower, and it's, like, not even worth having a different armor on. Um, hmm. I don't know. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to use it. Just simply because. Alright, well that that was interesting. Um, I do want to make my auto crafting better now. So, the first step would be to make blank, blank patterns. Let's make 32. Nah, 64. 63, because I already have one. Okay, let's auto-craft that. <laughs> These annoying fucking clowns. Alright. Then I want interfaces. I want 60... Uh, let's do 32. So I'm missing flux dust. Easy. This thunder dough. I have PS. Mm -hmm. Shows like it's fine, but then it drops drastically. So the iron, I was I was running out of iron the other day. Now I'm at 13k, and my Yellorium's at 81,000. Holy shit. Crazy difference. Oh yeah, I also want to move the Ender Quarry to the uh, mining dimension, because I heard it's better. But anyways, let's now get my interfaces created. You'll have to make logic processors to make the interfaces. That's the drawback right now, the holdback of making them. The next thing I'll make is the molecular assemblers, and then I'll begin auto-crafting uh, the next stuff. Basically, I'm going to auto-craft everything that I do. 
for ease of mind and e it just for if I ever need more, then it's easy because I can just click it and it's done. Holy shit! I'm gonna go kill that thing. Is it below me? It is. Fucking annoying, man. So yeah, let's see how this chest is doing. Damn, son. It's doing well. Oh, and my ore's chest has actually caught up. Uh, so what that tells me is there's not enough ore in there. So I could take out, for example, all the iron ore and throw it back in. And you can see it dropping really quickly. Okay. Let's see my interfaces. Six. So yeah, the uh, I'd have to go down, but you'll see here this is the recipe. It's showing that it's crafting the logic processor processors, and as it's crafting those, it's making the uh, these two things. And then once it has those cores, it makes the interfaces. It has, I have everything else. So, uh, yeah, really quick. Um, also, how this works is it's going to be my cube of auto crafting. It's going to be great. I'm really excited. Um, I'm really, really, really excited. Okay. So I have the interfaces. Then I need mo molecular assembler. So I'm going to need to auto craft that. Let me make the cores. Let me make two. And I'll make two of these as well once the first thing is auto crafted. Okay. And then quartz. Do I already have this auto crafted? Yes, I do. Um, molecular. So I, I think I can just finish crafting tables, really. Find this hard to believe. Let's just make one, and then I'll add that recipe down here. Uh, I don't have the room. Move that one over here, just for now. All right, molecular. Let's make also 32 of these. Flux dust again, dude. I guess I should just make um, more flux. So, another quartz. So let's make four stacks. Charged. Well, I'm limited by the amount of charged Sirtis quartz I have. And then redstone is the last thing. So I'll come over here. There. And we'll watch it combine and make flux crystals. And then I'll pulverize a stack and a stack. Okay, we're good. Throw the rest back in. And now I'll get it to make molecular. So let's make 32. I'll also need to make it uh, craft the all the acceleration cards for it as well. Which should be its own journey. I was just shaking a drink, guys. Sorry about that. What does it need for the molecular that it's having trouble with? Oh, right, right. Okay, that's fair. I, 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 uh, be easier on it now. Now that I know the struggles that it has to go through. If only I had known, I, I would have been nicer to it. I'm just kidding. Um, hmm. How is it not made anymore? I find this hard to believe. 
It's crafting 16. Oh, there we go. I don't know what what held it back for a second. That was weird. Um. Yeah. Eight more. Yeah, let's just take this off the hot bar for a second. Actually, I could take both of those off. Oh, yeah, I just made the power suit so I could see how well it, it it does in this pack. In a normal pack, the the power suit's perfect. Like nothing's gonna do enough damage to really hurt you. Um, it's it's just amazing. Where in this pack, things can kill you. Things can do a lot of damage, and it should not be taken lightly, to say the least. So I already had four interfaces, so I'm probably going to only place 28. Um, also, I have a problem, which is I think I want to raise that dense cable up one, but I can't do it yet because it's accessing these uh, recipes. Oh, it's done. Okay, I can move it. I'm just not sure. Okay, well, let's just do it and then think about it after. Move the chunk loader. I don't think I need this crafting table here. It'll just make it easier for me to access now. Okay. And then the next thing is moving. Technically, I'd want this row up one as well. Yeah, let me turn that back on. So I think this is where I move the water because it's in my way. Okay, and I move this and I move this. And I move this. Okay. And then instead, I have the dense cable come across. Alright. I feel better about it already. So yeah, see how it's a one channel for these two? It's pretty, pretty good. Um, so yeah, we'll continue. I need the molecular assembler shit. I think I'm just going to throw this stuff in here, and uh, I'll grab it out later when I need it. Currently, do not. I think I'll just finish this disc all the way to the top, and be happy with that. Which would be to here. Which this is clearly not um, 32. So I need a second one if I wanted to. But for now it's good enough. Um, yeah. I think that's enough auto crafting for now. Uh, so I used, I had 32 molecular assemblers, um, and I already had two, one down, one down. So I now I used third. Uh, what I used 20, something like that. So if I use 20, I need 100 acceleration cards, right? I was just trying to figure out how many acceleration cards I need to upgrade it all. Okay, uh, that's good. And then, yeah, I want to make recipes for stuff now. Co-processing. So I need a bun I need the recipe for this. So I do I already have the crafting unit? Nope. Though so that's the first thing I need to add. 
Which basically I'll need a blank thing for. Okay. Okay, that'll take a while. Interesting. Acceleration twenty nine. All right, let's add these upgrades. So the front one was already done. That's fine. So a bunch to upgrade. Probably a hundred upgrades was enough, but obviously I'm now. In a problem of waiting for them to be done. Unless I could dupe. Nope. <laughs> so one of these makes two uh, advanced cards and two acceleration cards. That's pretty good. So I basically already have half of them done. So guys, uh, something to mention. Yeah, let me add this chunk loader back on the ground. Um, I was looking at Crazy Craft. And from what I saw, Crazy Craft is a 1.6.4 mod pack. And it's just missing way too much stuff for me to, to, for me to play it. It... It only has 50 mods, it has literally like no power options except for the extra utilities. It's missing literally every fucking mod that I ever have gotten used to. And all it is is the adventure mods that are in this pack. Like, why would I play that when I could just play this one, which is actually updated? So, just random, random thoughts. I was upset. And confused. Why anyone would play Crazy Craft. I don't, I don't understand. Why not play... Anyways, it doesn't matter. Um, just random, random thought. So, I was looking at it though, and trying to figure out why it has the following that it does, and I couldn't. So I, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Hope I don't miss any of these. I just feel like I'm, I don't have enough uh, acceleration cards, even though I thought I did the math right. But maybe I do have enough because the front will only have one spot left, and that would be the top right here. And I think I got them all then. Yep. Alright, I had the exact number. Now, the fun part. I just sometimes feel like this is a bottleneck, even though they're max ac accelerated. I... I Oh, I had more acceleration cards. Anyways, okay, let's look at... So I was off by one. Okay, let's look at the recipes for the fucking co-processing stuff. So, cra uh, processors. I wanted to make... Um, one... One... Right, I can't... <laughs> I can't queue up the next one until this one's done. The neck... The, the, like, upgrading thing that I'm doing right now will allow me to do more than one craft at a time. Uh, they won't like go any quicker because it still will be on processor problem, uh, but it will solve the problem of being able to uh, queue them up at least. So this is the first one I need to get that and I then need to craft it. So crafting one of those, and I'll just search up co-processing.
Please don't crash. Oh, okay. I'm good. Kaboom. So now I have the recipe for a co-processing unit. Should I put it in right away, or should I wait? Or should I make them right away? I mean... Um, then I have the 16Ks already. So I could literally just go... Um, crafting unit. I already have one, because I didn't make this yet. I can make the 16K... Oops. 16K crafting units. Oh, right, I have to make one of these. How long will this take? Not bad, not bad. Okay. Uh, on the video once I have this. I can also upgrade my storage. A bunch of stuff. So yeah, eight. Uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to be doing that. Probably go into the wall more a bit again. I'll just move it the wall back one or two. And yeah. Should be the easiest way of doing this. Hmm. I don't know. I like uh, I like the system we have currently. So yeah, now I can make the recipe for the 16k crafting unit. now it would just be a fact of actually crafting this stuff. So for example, I could do 12. Check if I have all the stuff I do. So now it'll auto craft 12 of these bad boys. I'll start the next video when this craft is done. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'm looking forward to the next one. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a comment below about what you guys think of uh, the modular power suit, what I showed you, how I took damage through the modular power suit. And sure, it wasn't running out of energy, but it would have if I kept taking damage because the amount of damage these mobs do is incredible. Um, these don't break down in here, do they? Right. Real might does. But this does not. Therefore, I should take or spawn stuff off of that because uh wait yeah they don't okay uh titanium is different okay uh and subscribe if you guys are new to the channel so you're notified the next time i upload a video take care guys and i'll see you guys in the next one